So before continuing, I want you to tell you this uh, rate of reaction concept, which is marked as minus R sub index A. What does that mean? It's the rate of reaction based on A. So it tells tell us how fast a number of one chemical species, of course A, is being or are being consumed to form another chemical species. So what's a chemical species is any chemical component or even an element. So for example CO2 or O2 or even carbon. So if you're, I don't know, you find out that you can break up this, this one chemical species, let's call this A, is turning into B and C. So we call this phenomena also the disappearance of this species. And that's why the negative rate of reaction. So, of course, I told you there's no creation or destruction. Of course, there cannot be disappearance. This is actually a transformation. So please, when we talk about a species is disappearing, we are meaning that A is transforming into something else. Not that actually is being disappeared from the universe. So let me, uh, it sounds so abstract, so let me apply this example. So the rate of reaction of A, which is this here, is the disappearance of a species A, is the number of A molecules that lose their chemical identity per unit time, per unit volume. So let's say we choose some space in our system. Okay, that's as a volume. Now let's say we run it for one second, the volume, let's say one cubic meter. So how many moles turn from A into B? That will be the rate of reaction. Let's say one gram of A per cubic meter per second. So in one cubic meter, you are transforming one gram mole of A into other thing. Maybe it could be even two gram of B, five gram of C, whatever. And in one second. Uh, this is done through the breaking and subsequent reforming of chemical bonds. So if you remember chemical uh, chemistry concepts, you got bonds, so they break and they got energy or free electrons to combine with each other. So once again, let me show you the units. The units of rate of reaction of A are the moles of A per unit volume per unit time. So this can take either mole of A per cubic meter per second. This will be SI or international units. But normally you are in more into lab uh, scale, so you use liters per seconds or even cubic decimeters per minute. So it depends on the reaction, of course. If you have a very fast reaction, you want that in seconds. You have a normal or not well not normal but more like not so super fast reaction, you use it in minutes. You could also even use hours. So I got this example here. A plus two molecules of B will react to form C and D. So I bring you this huge uh, list of examples, the rate of reaction of A, the rate of production. So you can see this is negative, this is positive. So this will be one gram mole of A per cubic decimeter, but this should be go up per second. Now, this it's obvious that if you have this and you want to relate this, you have a, a minus sign here. So that's why this is negative. Now let's see B will be two grammoles of B are disappearing to form either C or D. And the one of C is actually production, so that's why it's positive. It's one grammol of C per cubic decimeter per second. And if you wanted to check out the rate of reaction of D, it will be negative because this is a product so since we're talking about rate of reaction, it's not reacting, it's actually being produced. So you will have a negative number. Hopefully it makes sense. So when I use R of a reactive, I'm talking about a positive number. And if I'm using a R of a product, I'm also using a positive number because this makes sense. This is negative, this is positive. A negative means you are reacting a reactant, so therefore it's a positive. A positive reaction production will be also positive. This is kind of tricky, so please just be
be sure that base your knowledge on a reactant so let's say minus r of a reactant will be a positive and of course you want to change that number into production since you are not producing this reactant you will be having a negative number so that negative means that since it is a reactant you are turning into a product so it's a little bit tricky you will get that once we are doing examples but for the moment just be sure that uh, yeah that you have this concept right here rate of reaction and I have it more well explained here let's say this is this, this one is this, this one is this one and this one and this one so what does that mean here? one gram mole of A disappears this one means one gram mole of A appears but since A is not appearing, it's reacting it has a negative number so actually you are disappearing one either you choose one disappear or you use one minus appear so it's not appearing if you're talking about does it appears no this negative will tell you no this number is not disappearing or appearing so that's cool because you're not going to be mixing language so when you tell you it's a reactant or a product and you are talking about this the number will tell you if it is appearing or disappearing for example this one here rate of reaction of B it's 2 grammoles of B per cubic decimeter per second what does that mean? It means 2 grammoles of B are disappearing which makes sense because you are turning this to B into this co uh, chemical compounds here now if we are talking about the rate of reaction which is minus R and we are talking about then the rate of production of C it will be of course 1 gram mole is appearing makes sense and if you're talking about rate of reaction of D negative here will be also negative which means it's also appearing so just make sure to read this once again until you get it because it's very very tricky but for the moment just get this here this one is the important one now once again the rate of reaction of A is minus RA the rate of production of A will be RA so as you can see there is a negative sign so you have rate of reaction of A is essentially the same number but with a negative you want to relate the rate of production of A makes sense because if you are disappearing one how would you mark this uh, production well you will have to put a negative number here so as you can see hopefully it makes sense you get this relationship now uh, we're going to see a packed reactors these as you as I told you before depends on volume we will be using a special rate of reaction for packed reactors so just to give you a small introduction here uh, it's essentially the same instead of on basing our study in the volume remember R of A is essentially mole per volume per time we base it into mass we're going to sometimes it's not that useful to base it in volume we're going to use it on mass of catalyst per second and yeah the only thing it changes is uh, this unit here instead of uh, cubic decimeters or liters or cubic meters you're going to use kilograms of catalyst grams of catalyst whatever uh, yeah same thing here just look this here gram mole of A per volume and this gram mole of A per mass of catalyst so just remember this is used only in these type of reactors packed bed reactors so in the batch in the continuous tier tank reactor and in the plug flow reactor we're going to use this here and in the packed bed reactor we're going to use this here uh, one important note I want to tell you is that the rate of reaction does not depend on the reactor okay so either you choose a batch reactor or you choose a CSTR reactor or you use a plug flow reactor the RA does not depend whether you choose batch CSTR or PFER 
this is the same, this depends on the chemicals. Uh, which makes sense, I think, because one reaction will be carried the same no matter if the reactor is nice, if it's big, or is it small, or long, or continuous, uh, or batch operated issue, the reaction is the same. So, yeah, do not confuse these molar balances with rate of reactions. The molar balances depends on the reactor, of course, because we are applying on the different reactors, they depend on this. But the rate of reaction does not depend. So just take care and please memorize that. That's like a super rule which will help you later. Uh, the rate of reaction, if you are wondering what on what actually that depends, is uh, on the materials being reacted. So since the reactor doesn't change the materials you're charging, that's why the reactor has nothing to do with that. Also, the reactor, con uh, the reaction conditions, temperature, pressure. If you use the same temperature and pressure with the same materials, well, you're going to get the same reaction, of course. Also, if you're using a catalyst that does not depend on the reactor, and the species concentration also does not depend on the reactor. So, if you got, I don't know, one gram moles per liter of A, independently on what type of reactor I use. I should have the same rate of reaction. One thing I want to let you know is that this is at a specific point of the space. But then, I don't want you to explain you or confuse you right now, that was about rate of reactions. Uh, in the next video we're going to see the general mole balance equation. So if you didn't get that much the rate of reaction, don't worry. We're going to see in chapter number two more exercise or apply exercise of that rate of reaction. So thank you for watching this video guys. See you in the next video which is how to get this general mole balance equation. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.